my name is Emily Teague. I'm a fashion and portrait photographer based here in Brooklyn, New York, and today I'm going to show you a little tour of my studio apartment. Living in Brooklyn, we are pretty limited in space. I live in a thousand square foot apartment and I share it with another photographer, Brandy Nicole. It's two bedrooms. So this one large room here is pretty much our everything. We have our kitchen space, we have our office space, we have our living room, and we have our studio space. So having such little space, we have to be very strategic about where we can hide our equipment and make sure it's always looking good for when clients come over. So over here, we are in my workspace. This is where you can find me most of the time doing absolutely everything other than shooting for my business. Just to go over a couple pieces of gear with you, we have a 27 inch iMac. We have a Wacom Intuos Pro Small, which I use for all of my retouching needs. And for file storage, I use a Lassie Rugged Hard Drive. And all of these items you can find at adorama.com. So living here was my first time ever working in a communal space, and it's actually really lovely. I have Brandy right next to me pretty much at all times and it works really well just to bounce creative ideas off of each other. If we have retouching, we can get each other to look at it and just get a second pair of eyes on what we're doing. Um, it also is really nice just to stay productive and stay inspired. We can kind of build off of each other's energy or ideas and we're constantly learning and growing together, which I love. So here in this corner is where we tuck most of our gear away. We have all of our backdrops labeled over here. So we label them both by how long they are and by their color. And this is really helpful just to save a little bit of time before a shoot. I don't have to go to my canvas ones, untape all of them, check the color. I can just easily look at the label and I'm good to go. Right here, we've got all of our modifiers. And looking over here, these are all ELC 125 and 500s. Uh, these are strobes from Ellen Chrome, nicely packed away. Looking over here, we've got two uh, Temba rolling cases. These are 48 inch, and these are really helpful if, the, if we have a job where we need to go somewhere, we can just pack everything in there, or it's really nice to also hide stuff in there for times like these when we're mostly staying at home. We've got just a standard beauty dish right here from Ellen Chrome. We've got some V-flats over here from V-flat World. These are also really helpful because they are so portable. You can fold them up and put them in a case and you're good to go. Or if we're shooting in their studio, we can just drag them over the five feet to where our studio is gonna be. So the last spot that I'm gonna show you where we tuck away our gear is actually inside of our couch. Because again, we are in Brooklyn and dealing with very limited space. So if we look in here, this is all Ellen Crumb equipment. We have two ELB 500s. We have some diffusion, uh, we have some rotogrids, some wires, some cases for our modifiers which are already built. And really we're just trying to fit as much as we can in here while still having it look nice and organized. So we've just converted our living room into a studio space. We're starting with one light, and for my modifier, I chose the Ellen Chrome 59-inch Rolex. I did this for a few different reasons. Uh, reason number one, it's a huge light source, so that's gonna help with creating some really soft, beautiful light for us. Number two, this has two layers of diffusion, so that'll also help with creating that soft light. And number three, it's an Okta, so that's gonna create some really nice catch lights in my model's eyes. Right where this stool is, is where my model is gonna go and Brandy has been kind enough to offer to model for us today, so that's a pleasure. So we have a white V-flat on one side of my model, and that's just gonna bounce some light back into her face, and on the other side, we have a black V-flat, and that is just gonna soak up that light, and it should create a really nice shadow right along her jawline. So let's see how this goes. We just tried taking a couple test shots and there's some things that I really love about the images and some things that can be improved upon. Just to let you know my settings, I'm currently at shutter speed 1 200, I'm at aperture f 6.3, and I'm at ISO 100. So we have this light source to the left of Brandy, and instead of placing her right in the middle of this light source where she would be getting full power, I have her a little bit off to the edge, so it's feathering a little bit more on her and creating some nice, really soft, beautiful light on her face. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add in another light source and it's gonna create some beautiful soft ambient light by bouncing off of the white ceiling and coming back down. So let's see how that goes. So I'm here in Capture One and I'm looking at this image and it looks a lot better than what I was originally getting. Her cheekbone has this beautiful highlight on it. Um, on her jawbone, we're getting this nice fall off from the shadow and there's just a really smooth gradation between the highlights and shadows on her face. So this is looking pretty good to be a final image for me. I'm just gonna give this some editing and then we are good to go.
Thanks for joining me on that mini studio tour and lighting demo. Um, as far as the lighting demo, it's a really quick, easy setup. Um, you can get more complex with it or you can simplify it more. Lighting is really fun and you can just experiment and play with it and not have it have to be this intimidating thing. So if you have any questions, let me know and I will see you guys next time.